certainly do. A lot more action in the wood jump arena. There's the Australians getting set and preparing for test number two and the New Zealanders. Let's go down to Dave Foster now. He's with New Zealand captain Jason Wicket. New Zealand got away to a great start again and that's something that you've always done. Uh, bit of bad luck in the single out of soaring? Yeah, um, Dion Lane is one of our best soarers in, in the country and um, he had a, about five or six hookups. So it was very um, unusual for him to do that, but um, maybe just the pressures of the, the race got, got to him. And, uh, team racing is pretty tough, you know, as well as I do, that uh, you can bring out sometimes the worst or the best of you. So um, I think we're going to come back pretty hard for the next race, so it's going to be a great race. No team changes to Australia. New Zealand have replaced Dion Lane with David Hocker there in the single headed saw. And the USA have swapped Melvin Lentz and Matt Bush around. Because Dion Lane was carrying an injury, Greg. All right, now they're getting set for test number two here. Australia have a one test to nil lead over the United States and New Zealand. And the way they go now on the underhand. This is Harold Winkle for Australia who started us off in the first test. New Zealand, it's David Bolstead and Matt Bush starting for the United States, hoping for a better start tonight. Yes, they certainly are. Yeah, now we'll see who gets the jump here on the turn and who will come off first. It should be very important to pick up a couple of seconds even on the first block. Harold Winkle for Australia, David Bolstead for the New Zealanders, and there is Matt Bush for the United States. The turn goes through and it's New Zealand. New Zealand Just in front. front. Yes, yes, they certainly have.
they want it to end, and there it goes. So, it is New Zealand first, some 10 seconds clear of Australia in second spot, and then almost a minute away, the United States of America. Great, great, Jason, obviously sets up a tremendous fight in the third quarter. Yeah, our boys went really well this time, and uh, we nearly did everything how we wanted to do, and we're really happy with the outcome, so we're looking forward to this next test, and hopefully we can pull it out. To the next test as well, Jason Wicked. Should be exciting Australia and New Zealand one all as we go down to Shelley. She's with Harold Winkle. Harold's not the answer we were asking, but certainly sets up for a great fight in the third test. Oh, there's no doubt about that, Sally. I'm, uh, I'm a bit down on myself now. I didn't give the boys this half if they needed.